Hey guys, Jeff Wald here with Fox 9 Sports Digital. It's Monday afternoon and I'm here to talk Gophers men's basketball and many of you are probably wondering why. Uh, it's been a very tough year too for Ben Johnson and company. They're just 7-20 and 20 on the season. Uh, they only have one Big Ten win in 17 tries and they've lost 12 straight games. They have two regular season games left before the Big Ten tournament. Um, and many just want, this, want to see this season come to an end and move on. Um, the program got dealt a pretty big gut punch last week when Dennis Evans, a 7-1 center out of California, the program's highest rated recruit in 20 years since Chris Humphreys in 03, uh, he informed the team that he wants out of his national letter of intent. So he's no longer a member of the 2023 recruiting class. Obviously, that's a major blow. You're talking about a top 20 recruit, uh, one of the top centers in the country. Um, many think the sky is falling, and many are even suggesting there might need to be a coaching change here at the end of the year. I don't think we're there yet, folks. I don't think we're even close to that, to be honest with you. You have uh, you, you have a team with a lot of young talent that just simply needs to mature. You've got guys like Pharrell Payne, who's proven he can play at the Big Ten level. Uh, you've got Dawson Garcia, who, when he's been healthy, has been the team's most productive player. He's the leading scorer and one of the top rebounders. He's dealt with a foot injury since Michigan that forced him to miss some time, but now he's finally starting to look like the Dawson Garcia we know he could be. You've got a talented freshman class that uh, that probably played more minutes than anyone thought they would this year, and I don't think they were ready for that. So what we do know is that Athletic Director Mark Coyle has always been patient with his hires, and I expect no different with Ben Johnson. I think... Uh, I think he's going to get at least four seasons to build his program, and he should. He should get that right. Um, is it bad now? Yes, it's it's absolutely awful. But can it get better? God, I hope so, because it can't get much worse. This team has got to get better guard play, period. They turn the ball over way too much, they miss free throws, and they don't play a lot of defense. So let's start there. you got to get a couple of guards in the spring transfer portal. you just got to get better talent and deeper talent overall. So let's see what happens with this team. Let's give it some time.